Let me tell you about who else is talking morality. Acting Executive Secretary of the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment, uh, Dr. Prince Amid Ama, has been justifying the inclusion of religious and moral education in a new curriculum plan for JHS1 to J uh, SHS1 students in the country. The new Common Core Program, CCP, is set to roll out in September this year. The acting NACA secretary disclosed that that will, among other things, shape the attitudes and values of youth in the country. The Common Core curriculum has a production of religious and moral education. Part of our program in this country, whether it's leadership, whether it's business, whether it's school system, is on moral values. Uh, even in the other, other countries that we think that we are more, we are the higher moral technology, they have certain values, moral values that they look to. For example, when you sit in a bus in the UK, in any part of the UK, uh, or any part of Europe, and uh, you get down, you say, thank you, driver, thank you. If you are 20, all of them will turn the driver. Here, in fact, you are not careful, you will saw the driver in the when you sit in the bus and they see a pregnant woman or you see an elderly person coming, they get up. Even then, here now, our young people today is a, is a challenge. So these are, for these reasons, and other issues in terms of seeing ourselves as people of common destiny by different religious backgrounds, introduce religious tolerance and the rest, because now there are not so many things that are happening where people are beginning to fight among themselves and the rest. And so religious and moral taught from lower secondary school, DHS1, throughout the SHS1 as a compulsory course of it. Then also we have um, the physical and health education. We used to have physical education, uh, DHS, not exam now. Now if we're going to continue physical, not only physical education, but also the health side of it. It is not enough to, to do or learn about physical education, but also it is important to know about the health issues around us. And so physical and health education uh, have been introduced from JHS1 up to SHS1. When you have, in some context, they call it well-being. When you have a healthy student, they will have a sound mind to stay in. And then we have also introduced um, guidance and counseling as part of building emotional um, the emotional strengths and growth of our people. Sometimes there are some decisions that they need to take and they are not able to do that because some of our teachers are a bit judgmental. They, they, they feel scared going before them. So we develop a dialogue in a way that will enable these children to uh, have access to guidance and counseling. The other thing which is also very important is that uh, we are saying that the children should do more of project work. The Deputy Minister in Charge of General Education, Dr. Yawase Duchum, was hopeful the new program will promote global standards in Ghana's learning sector. He praised the inclusion of critical thinking skills as a truly laudable effort. I'll tell you this, uh, the content that they are emphasizing is going to allow them to be prepared for the 21st century. For example, computing is being done. Uh, we have also made sure that when students leave our school, they will be critical thinkers, uh, they will be creative, and they will be effective uh, communicators. Uh, so, so bottom line is this. Uh, they are implementing, or NACA is proposing a curriculum that will ensure that the 21st century needs of Ghana is, is well catered for. And they are also ensuring that every learner has a certain foundation in history, certain foundation in English, certain foundation in mathematics and the sciences. So you now have a situation where, because somebody did science, they are short on the history of Ghana. So basically you can have a medical doctor, an engineer, who has not been educated well in terms of the history of Ghana, for example. All these are being changed. That's why they are talking about a common core. The common means irrespective of the pathway that you're going to select, whether you are doing home economics, whether you are doing general arts, whether you are doing um, visual arts, there's something that all of us should know. Now, when all of us have that foundation, what it then means is that it will be easier for people to adapt 
uh, and change into other professions because you have a foundation in the arts, you have foundation in the sciences at a higher level. You know, here that too in this country, if you do visual arts, you will never be able to become engineer because they will tell you you don't have enough foundation in the sciences, right? If you do um, a general arts, you dare not dream of becoming uh, a medical doctor, right? Because rightly so, they say you don't have the foundation in the sciences that you need to have. This curriculum is saying that let us give everybody a certain higher level standard in mathematics and in English and in history, irrespective of the electives that they are going to do. Dr. Oseyao Ose 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 